Show me how to fly plane. Let's go. Let's go. Alright boys, we're gonna be going on a little flight class with Venom. What are you gonna be teaching us here, Venom? Okay, so uh, some of the basics we're gonna be learning today are hovering, uh, forward flight, and uh, we can then go into some more advanced techniques such as moving away from your enemy fire, and then we'll do some landing. Um, so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these helicopters out to the floor and learn how to hover. So first things first, when you are taking off, make sure you hold control so that you do not fly in the air. <laughs> I'll stop talking like that. <laughs> Release control so, when you're ready to go. We're going to get a little nice flat spot to stop and land. Once you've landed, what we're going to do is we're going to go above probably 10 feet up in the air. And we're going to stay there in the air and basically just try to stay in one spot the whole time. To do this, um, you're going to hold W and that will start up your blades. W hold up will make your throttle go up. S will make your throttle go down. So if you're wanting to stay in one spot, you basically have to balance both of those moments. What you're going to do is you're going to use your mouse to pitch forward, which is to move your mouse up, or pitch left and right, or pitch down, which is to move your mouse down. So let's start. We're going to go up about 10 feet. I'm going to go ahead and separate over here from Drizza. It's a little bit close. And all we're going to do is practice on staying in one spot. If you feel yourself veering to the left, you're going to move your mouse to the right a little bit. If you feel yourself moving forward, you're going to move your mouse down and that'll pitch you back down. All this while trying to attain the same height. So if you feel yourself moving downward in height, you're gonna tap W a couple of times. If you move yourself getting too low, you're gonna hit W a couple of times. And that's all you're doing. You're trying to stay in one spot. Looks like Driz is doing a pretty bang up job over here. <laughs> I'm trying, now, dude. <laughs> Now what we're going to do is we're going to play a game called Follow the Leader, and this is just going to practice some of your forward flight characteristics. So what I want you to do is first have Drizza move, yeah, look towards me. And while trying to stay, uh, attain a stable altitude, you're going to move your mouse up, and that'll pitch your nose down in order to move forward. And that's all you're going to do is move forward. We're going to try to go w, over right? to that lighthouse. I'm sorry? While holding W, right? we got to hold yeah, W. Hold Hold W, yep. You're gonna well, hold W to keep forward. your throttle up. And you're gonna move your mouse up in order to pitch your nose down and move forward. A lot of people think that moving your W will actually make you move forward, it doesn't. It just makes your throttle go up. The same thing with S, it makes your throttle go down, it doesn't make you move forward, uh, back, uh, sorry, move backwards. Um, all your movement, actual movement forward and back is done with your mouse. In fact, you could actually go through the whole map only moving your mouse but we use the A and D key to point us in the right direction. It's uh, it's really convenient to know where you're going, to look towards where you're going. So all we're going to do is basically go forward right here. We're going to go towards Dome, I guess. So we're going to move up, pitch your, move, uh, pitch your nose down in order to move forward, which is to move your mouse up. Sorry this sounds a little bit complicated, but uh, once you try it out a couple of times, you'll kind of figure it out. So we're going to go forward. <clears throat> So basically, See? you want to go up, you just hold W, and if you want to gain altitude while uh, moving forward, you hold W while pointing down. And then if you yes. want to gain altitude without crashing, just pull your mouse back while holding W, and then move your mouse back down, or I mean up, and point <laughs> your nose down. Yeah, these are, uh, these are, these, uh, this is pretty, pretty difficult, but once you got them, you'll, you'll be able to get them. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna make a left turn. Um, uh, I gotta catch up to you for a sec. I lost you. I'm was, over here by dome. I'm moving up right on it. I'm like right right above dome. All right, I'm right ahead. Okay. All right. So there you are. now what we're gonna do is while moving forward, we're gonna take a left turn. Um, what you would want to do is basically 
hold A to move left. While hovering. Now, yeah. So, so now that you're looking that any, way. Not pointing in any direction, just idling in the air. You can spin yes. in a circle. Yes. And now what you're going to do is, again, move your mouse up, pitch your nose down, and that'll make you go forward. And that's it. Once we get over this little ch uh, channel of water, we're going to move right. And in order to do that, again, you hold D. That'll move your mouse. Or that'll move your nose to that direction, and you're gonna pitch your mouse forward and move in that direction. Okay, that's forward flight, guys. That's it. That's basically it. So we're gonna go back to our little landing area, and we're gonna practice some landing. Um, in the beginning, what you're gonna want to do is basically just slow down and then kind of hover all the way down to your landing spot. So we're gonna head over there right now. So you get too close to the ground like I am, you just try to idle and hold W and that'll bring you up. While you're idling, you can use your, what is that, A and D key to spin in any direction without tilting it. If you need to redirect yourself. And then pointing it down gains momentum. While holding as you, w, w will keep you uh, from crashing into the ground. As you get closer to your landing area, what you're going to want to do is stop holding W because you don't want to gain any more altitude. You're going to move your mouse back in order to stop your, more, your forward movement. And once you do that, you start tapping. Don't hold down S, but you start tapping S in order to go down in altitude. And all you're doing is bringing your safe, safe, uh, safely close to the ground, and that's it. Once you're on the ground, Jump out, loot whatever you need to loot, and that's it. So as Driz is approaching the ground, he's going to tap the S real slowly because you don't want to go in too fast. If you go in too fast, you'll crash and burn. Again, you're going to use all your hover techniques, right, that we learned at the beginning in order to kind of keep your attitude to control. Once you get to the ground, you can do whatever you want. And you can either try to land like I did right there, and then pressing control will clip you to the ground. Or, if you're about like this high off the ground and you're going at a decently normal speed, you can hop out and it'll land itself. Um, so now, we can do a little bit more advanced techniques, um, such as... Uh, let's say, for instance, you are going to Dome. Or to this uh, gas station right here. What is it? Yeah, the gas station. So, you're going to the gas station, and some people are holed up on the roof and they're shooting at you. What you can do is, is if you're flying forward to them, you can actually, without moving your mouse, move your nose to the left and face the back of them or the back of yourself to them. What that does is that makes it harder for them to shoot you and all they'll be doing is shooting your gas tank. Um, and that's a way to basically keep you from getting headshot or from getting uh, killed right out of the airplane. Once so, you get safely um, away from them... I just did a little demonstration. I'll try to hover over here if you want to uh, show them from a third-person point of view. Come back over to Oxum's real quick. Because this is something that I don't think a lot of people are really good at. I'm just kind of so, idling over here, flying sideways. So I'm going towards Drizza, right? And say Drizza had a second shooter. What I can do is move away from him... And you see how I'm still moving to the to the correct uh, position, but I'm actually pointed away from him. That keeps me away from fire, so I don't get killed out in the, in the airplane. So I would I just keep you, uh, him keep him underneath me. Try to point it away. He starts shooting me again. Flip it around. You want to point your tail at them. It'll also get you get you away from them pretty quickly as well, because you'll be flying pretty much 180 sideways if you're pointing the bottom of your helicopter at them. You can also just point the back of it at them as well, but I think the bottom has a little more surface area if you're uh, in a heli fight, or if the dome is right below you, you would want to try to keep the bottom of it pointed at them without crashing, though. You just fly sideways like that, keeping track of the direction you're going in. Not pushing any keys, I'm just using my mouse. 
I'm holding W to gain altitude, though. And then, uh, I guess the last lesson here is how to land on a landing pad. It's basically kind of a combination of all the other lessons we've learned today. A little bit of forward flight, a little bit of hovering, um, and then obviously the landing. So, we'll just go ahead and uh, land on this landing pad down here. I'll go first, and then I'll have uh, Drizza show you uh, what he learned today. So we're just going to kind of go slowly. Once you get pretty close, you're going to pitch your, your mouse back. Obviously, this door opens up, and then we go inside. So you Holding can, control. You can open the door from the heli, but we have a little automatic setup here. So let's say I'm coming in from over here. I learned all of this tidbit today, by the way, from Mr. Venom. So while I'm flipping around over here, idling, I can spin around, aim myself where I need to go. If you're not too good at flying and turning at the same time, you would just line yourself up with the door, start idling by hovering your mouse. I'm using D to flip over, flipping my mouse to the left a little bit to straighten out. And then I'm not pushing any keys, I'm just dropping right now and um, lightly tapping my D if I need to straighten out. I'm tapping S right now to lower, pushing forward so that I can get up to it closer. And I'm not touching anything right now, just pulling my mouse up a little bit. We're getting close, so I'm going to pull back until I idle. And then align it up a little bit, tap my S button, and then tilt it down. I'm not close enough yet. And I'm not touching anything right now, just pulling up on it, using my mouse. Now I, I uh, fucked up right there a little bit, but if you jump out, it'll just land itself. So what I did wrong there is I pushed W, but you see if I, I just held control right there after I took off a little bit to get it out of the wall. So we'll do it one more time. I pushed W at the end there on accident, which lifted my plane up and clipped into the wall. So my issue when trying to hover is I don't alt look around, and then I end up tapping this to spin around. So I think doing a little something like this might be easier when you're out looking around to realign yourself and try to just like hover until you get used to flying in real fast one thing uh, that could help is if your co-pilot can actually uh, tell your pilot where you're at so what you would do here is you would say okay you're good you're good and bring it down bring it down you're good you're good you're good and then control and that's it so this is an example of a new pilot landing on a tiny space like this. We have an automated door set up right there, so um, we have the timer set to 10 seconds and the door will just close, but it won't destroy the plane. So let's have an example of somebody who actually is better at flying on this type of setup right here. So for a new pilot like myself, who just learned how to basically learn how to fly these things today. Uh, this type of storage building might be a little difficult to land on at first, but someone with a little more experience can just fly it in there pretty easily. Um, I'm, I'm kind of messing with the HBRF sensor right now. I accidentally closed the door on him, but you get the point right there. Let's have it one more time without me turning the door on for you. Or the door is just open, I think, from us fixing it when the plane got stuck. There we go. One more time around. If I sit right here, you should be good to go. So he's just using the hovering techniques, the turning techniques to land it in here pretty easily after a little bit of experience. Now he just flies it right in there. If you practice hovering enough, I think it would be easier to hover instead of flying straight in there. Especially if you have to open the door up, but since we have an automatic system, he can just fly it right in there because it'll open three squares away. Could you give us an example of landing by hovering real quick? Sure, sure. Because not everyone's going to have a... Uh, hangar that has automatic doors right off the bat. You see, he would just...
hover real nice like that to land on this, and then he could open the door himself. Let's go. Let's go try to land on Dome real quick. As a uh, example of what these techniques could be used for in the game. Also, you, if you want to fly low and fast, dodging trees is something you need to learn how to do. Just flipping it around with the turning, the little turning things we taught you. So right there, just I pushed S, or sorry, A, pushed A, and flicked my mouse to the left to dodge a tree with the uh, without hitting my rudder on it. Getting a little too close to the ground, just pull back and uh, pull up once you're ready to go. And then once we get up to dome, if we're not high enough, we'll just start to hover. It'll accelerate us pretty quickly. We can use our D to turn right while we're hovering. Tap S if you're getting too high, push forward. And then as a new pilot, you can see uh, what a little bit of practice and if like 20 minutes allowed me to do. Did not know how to fly these things before about half an hour ago. Pretty easy little techniques from my man Venom over here. You got anything else that we would show in a part two or is this pretty much all we need to know about flying helicopters? Honestly, it's just practice. Um, I could show the uh, the box technique, um, which is basically drawing a box while you're hovering in the second part. But um, that's all you really need to know is learning how to hover, um, and then forward flight, and then obviously the landing. Um, I think Drizzt showed you. But basically, if you're coming in kind of hot, or you're not really in control of the helicopter as you're landing, as long as you're not really slamming down on the ground, you can basically, like, right at the last second, jump out, and the helicopter will, because of the game physics, will actually just, like, slow down and land for you, so you don't have to worry about landing it yourself. Uh, so if you're ever in a really hairy situation, just jump out. That's it. Jump out, like, kind of bail on your helicopter, but normally, if you're not if you're not flying really quick, uh, that's good enough for it to survive, so you can pick it back up or have someone else more experienced, uh, you know, fly it up onto your landing pad. So yeah, if you're nose diving, just try to pull it back as much as you can, pull your mouse down, and then hop out once you feel like the momentum has slowed, and then uh, you should be good to go, as long as you're not going to take a massive fall damage from just breaking your legs. That's all I got, man. I mean, I think you did a pretty good job. I don't think we practiced this dome run, so you landed on the first try. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeet. If you have any other questions or want to see a part two with more information on these helicopters, leave a comment down below if you would like to learn things that you cannot find anywhere else on the internet that we would be able to test on our private server. Just uh, let me know in the comments down below. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see a base build for the hangar that we used in this video, I will be releasing it within the next couple days. Thank you all for watching, and as always, I'll catch you next time.